Hey guys, this is Jen and today I wanted to share with you how I style my new shorter hair. You guys know that Guy Tang recently cut and colored my hair. If you want to see the whole video of how he did that, I'll link that down below. It's a video on his channel. I chopped off like a foot and a half of hair. It was really crazy. So obviously I had to style my hair a little bit different. So I wanted to show you guys two techniques. First of all, how I style my hair most days where I'm not using any heat and I just want a little bit of texture in there. And then also so when I take a curling iron to it, when I'm putting in a little bit more effort, which is what I have here right now. So if you wanted to see these two ways of how to style a lob, then keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I didn't put anything in it. It's just kind of like air dried. And you can actually start this process when it's about halfway dry. So it doesn't have to be completely dry, but in this case, it's okay if it is as well. So I'm starting off with putting a little bit of a salt spray in my hair. So this is the salt spray I've been using. It's the Osis Plus Session Label Salt Spray, but you can use any salt spray out there. I think they're all pretty much the same. It's just going to give you some matte texture to your hair that's gonna look super cute and edgy. So this is pretty simple. I'm just gonna spray it in my hair. And I also like spraying this on the inside a bit, just in the front areas because that'll give it some extra texture. So now that it has that dampness a little bit, I'm just gonna take sections and kind of twist them. So I'm alternating them back and forth. I'm just kind of doing this and giving it a bit of a scrunch. I'm just alternating twists as I go. So this one I'm twisting forward. The next section I'm twisting back, scrunching. It doesn't have to be a perfect science or anything. The parts right next to my face, I do like twisting away from my face just because I think it lays a little bit cuter that way. And then once I've done that, I just kind of give it a nice scrunch from the ends all the way up to my roots. Try not to separate them too much because these PC layers, like that's kind of the look that I'm going for intentionally. So I don't want to pull them apart too much. Usually that'll give it a really nice wave and texture that I love, but my hair naturally is kind of flat at the top here. So I do want to give it a little bit of a boost. So for that, I'm using the Schwarzkopf Dust It Flex. This stuff is like one of my favorite secret weapons. I just lift up some of the top of my hair and I sprinkle this on just right by the roots and kind of work that into the scalp. And then I'll just take my fingers and just kind of push the hair at my roots toward the middle. Just kind of almost work this in like you're shampooing your hair. And that gives you a lot of extra volume right there. And then you can take a little bit of a curling cream. This is from OGX Moroccan Curling Perfection. So I can smooth any little flyaways and bring it back to being a little more PC again. So that's kind of how it's styled the first way with zero heat. You kind of get this nice, tussled, loose, beachy wave kind of look, which I am personally a fan of because I'm pretty low maintenance with my hair. So anything that I can just throw a couple products in my hair, scrunch and go is great for me. But if you want to have a little bit more of a volumized, put together look, then you can also add a few curls with a curling iron. So I'm gonna start off with a heat protectant. This is my favorite one right now. It's the Caviar Repair Multivitamin Heat Protection Spray. Normally when I do this, I don't already have a ton of product in my hair, but just for this video, I wanna show you guys. Make sure you spray this really well throughout any parts that are going to meet the heat. I like separating the hair at the back of my head and kind of pulling it on either side of my neck. So I'm actually using a clipless curling iron. This is one of my favorites. It's the new me. I think this is either a one inch or one and a quarter inch. It's a fairly small barrel. So that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Honestly, I don't even use this over my whole head because I don't want it to look too perfect. I just like extra pieces being a little more defined. So I love starting with the front sections of my hair and I'm just going to wrap this away from my face and I'm stopping with a couple inches left at the end of my hair. I don't want to go all the way to the end and that's what's going to give it more of that like natural easy look. So after I curl it, I separate it just a little bit, and then I'm gonna move on to the next section. 
I'm mainly gathering the pieces that are sitting near the top layers of my hair. So you can alternate how it spins around the iron and leave a big tail at the end. The nice thing about having short hair is this takes so much less time than when I had really long hair and had perfect curls all the way down to the ends. It's already looking like cute and fun and free. <laughs> If there's any parts that are kind of flat near the top of your head, I just like taking a thin section right near the top and pulling this all the way to the roots and really pulling that tight so that it gets the curl right by the root and that'll usually help give a little bit extra volume. Now I'm just taking any sections that look too much like coiled little curls and I just kind of break them apart. Then it looks a little more like waves and less like curls. If your hair is super curl resistant, then you can always top off with a little bit of hairspray. But since my hair is already a little bit wavy to begin with, it holds the curl pretty well and I like how it kind of loosens up over time. But I guess that means this is the final look. It's just like, so free and easy and cute and very youthful and summery. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you want to, you can also subscribe to see more videos. This is Jen and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I am going to show you guys how to do this super cute short hairstyle, even if you have long hair. And if you want to see how this look is done, then stay tuned.